enemy hero, especially when they're invis on the walls and see everything coming. And then the scouting tool used to try and spot the vision. It's not there though. There's no observer ward mid. I think it might just have been your punch with his body scouting the wolf at that moment. About your runes two for two. Everybody dead even to start off this one. They're swapping things around a bit uh, on side of Entity, putting uh, Zeus with Lycan. This is not uh, a killer lane by any means, and uh, Saberlight will be playing Enigma. In a game where it matters, uh, he's like, yeah, give it, give it to me. You know, Toby, you're a great Enigma player, but remember the previous major, I want to do some big things. Hey, it's like Shifo was saying, right? They picked that clockwork, and it kind of meant Saberlight would be playing that ranged hero, because he's going to be paired up with Fishman most of the time. And then you've got Kato Omi, the ranged hero with the melee Lycan, which is you know, more of a favorite good way of doing things, right? Having one range, one melee in each of your side lanes, just to give yourself that little bit of shift up in terms of harassment and tankiness. It also gives them a little bit more kill potential on the bottom lane, because Clockwork plus Enigma, if they manage to catch Keeper of the Light, it's a bit of a tough one, and uh, yeah, so checking some of these stats. Uh, that Radiant win rate. Radiant 100%, uh, Dire 85. Oh, your punch. Over 13 games. And on the mid lane, we do have Storm Stormer playing against Storm, so a lot of Storms here. Uh, both uh, are going to go for the bottle, of course. Uh, I've seen Storm Stormer carrying the games really hard, and the one thing I noticed about his tiny is that he picks up an earlier charge from the mid lane, especially because they do have like two off laners in the team, Saberlight playing one and Toby playing the other, so he wants to be able to get some extra farm and scale. Right, yeah. Make him one of those big beast cores. I think Storm Stormer throughout this tournament he's been incredibly impressive not only with his his patience and his spell casting but every, everything he does seems to be very crisp and clean you know there's no misclicks there's no uh, mistakes made every initiation is he waits for the perfect moment to go in knows exactly when his spells need to come and with a hero like tiny it's incredibly important you know when you jump in with the avalanche toss whether you want to actually go for the kill combo or toss someone back and when you're able to actually burst someone from 100 to zero he's been amazing throughout the dpc and uh, this major as well and seems uh, like a pretty chill guy, you yeah. Know, considering that uh, it's his uh, first big LAN, uh, like just like the whole team, they, they feel extremely not stressed, I would say. Oh, Toby. Mean, oh, Toby in trouble. Zap down. Tim's gets the first blood. <laughs> Boom, off to a good start. And BZ was thinking about to go on to Katomi under tower there, but creep wave dying. And Lycan, that first kill is incredibly important here for Boom because he's uh, very much a tempo hero, isn't he? Gets those aura items, gets the helm creep, and he's running at your towers. If you're able to slow him down, even by a couple of minutes, you give yourself such a nice bit of breathing room. They want to have this big timing with the helm of the Overlord. Looking at the heroes from Boom, they don't have that one hero that can kill it other than CK. So if you can delay that timing, as you mentioned, that's going to be pretty big. Because uh, Entity's lineup is all about the zoo. It's all about hitting the right timings, uh, grouping up and taking the towers, forcing uh, enemies inside the Roach Pit and uh, taking that fight as well. Actually, so, I think that's a zoo hero as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he is. Oh, the odd ones, able to push out. Scam and Jackie down bottom, doing a decent job clearing our lawns with Illuminate, getting on top of them with the CK's hit. Fishman, unable to really fully secure free farm for Saberlight, 11-6, but they have contested CK's, you know, he sat there dead even with the Enigma, as we see in the other lanes, 18-5 Tiny, 18 on the Dawn Storm. Lycan being held They back cannot stop Dawnbreaker from farming in this lane. They have a decent amount of AoE, especially when they hit level 3. So much magic damage against the wolf. They do have magic resistance, but still, it's going to be a lot of spam. And Katomi needs to be careful. Every single time he uses Lightning Bolt, that means that they have nothing to stop the Starbreaker with. Oh, that's, yeah, that's true. Yeah, they need that to stop the chain stuns coming in, because they drag back into a Starbreaker. They've got that displacement onto a pretty, pretty slow hero like Zeus. Even though he's got Heavenly Jump, he can still get caught and picked off. Tim's is looking for it. He's got Telekinesis ready, but the Heavenly Jump over the tree is very well timed by Kata Army. Tim's was waiting for that to try to use Telekinesis while he's in Heavenly Jump. Stop it, but uh, didn't mention to do it. Yopaj playing very aggressive on Stormstormer. Stormstormer getting the boots made the slot with Tango's in his uh, backpack and uh, now has 
water rune to work with. You'll Kata probably Omi. already pick it up. And Katomi will go down. This top lane is not going uh, as expected for Entity. It's, it's really not. It's Dawnbreaker Rubik. And now, oh, career snipe as well. Tango's removed. Toby's laning stage here being demolished. This is pre-catapult wave, and they're doing some, you know, pretty good damage onto tier one. Chip away at that. Maybe they can come in with a full push at five minutes. They don't threaten a kill on Dawnbreaker until Hyken gets level 6, and considering that he died once, just hit level 4, Dawnbreaker is going to hit uh, level 6 before that, so very, very difficult lane for Entity. They're going to need uh, Tiny to rotate top and try to stabilize this lane, so 6-minute rune definitely needs to be checked by one of the Entity supports. Yeah, start rotating in. Guard things up, get that Tiny off to a good start as well. Sableite just keeps on denying creeps, very irritating here for Jackie. 13 denies. Some of them will be on Eidolons, but a catch on to Skem. Fishman and Sableye move forward with the Malifest, finding the kill on the Grottel. Had Fairy Fire ready, but uh, did not want to use it. He thought he's dead anyway. Well, he'll come back to lane full resources. Well, finally, we see a little bit of life out of Entity in one of these other lanes, because so far it's been boom all the way. Uh, move into mid, like you said, right, the Zeus comes in and the clockwork from both of these side lanes. And boom, will bring Skem on his console as well as Tim's Rubik to try and guard the top one. Oh, it looks like Yopan maybe thinking about going for the kill here. Very low XP and running out of mana. Storm Storm has hasted, tosses him, Storm nearly dead, Yopan! He'll ball across, defended under his tower. The light from Kato, but they've got the drag back in. Storm Stormer has it. Ah, he looks oh. like he does, but the avalanche comes just in time! Storm Stormer kills the Storm! That was a very aggressive move. He's gonna TP back uh, to his fountain, replenish his bottle, full HP, full mana. Meanwhile, Katelmi will get some XP on the mid lane. He definitely needs it. And it's all down to what you said, right? The support rotating in, guarding that room, getting the haste on Tiny. Imperative to their success in this, in this post laney stage breakdown. Sometimes, I mean, Dota is a beautiful game and RNG is involved, uh, so if it spawns top, this doesn't happen, but uh, still, I, I feel very confident for Boom, because you do have a Storm Spirit and you have Eber of the Light replenishing his mana, Dawnbreaker just hit level 6, so next time Entity tries to do something like that, uh, Dawnbreaker will ulti on top of it and uh, stop any kind of aggressiveness that Entity's trying to put. Yeah, there's RNG for sure, but if you don't go for those opportunities or chances, you're not going to be favored by it, but bottom, Jackie in the cogs, Storm Stormer again, aggressive under the tier one, but the CK's alive, the door break turns back on the tiny. Very tanky Storm Stormer though, has the avalanche to retreat away from Boom's reaction. Oh, in comes your life though, the long ball in, and the cockle blasts him down. Yeah, this is what we expected. Dawnbreaker ulti once you hit that level 6. And this is not the, you know, your position to Zeus that can match the global presence, having that Thunder God's Wrath. Uh, Katomi still trying to find uh, some XP, get that level 6, because... Uh, it's a uh, global presence from Boom is much stronger than Entities, and this Dawnbreaker is off to a really good start. 3.7k net worth, seven, eight minutes into the game. Yeah, you can even consider the Storm Spirit to be maybe semi global, as he'll pick up Fishman here. One more ball to the high ground secures it. Low on resources now, though, but he's got the backup of Tim's. The heavenly jump still aiming for him. Storm Stormer shoves the bone at him, gets the smite from Mars away. Sadan Kataomi providing vision with the lightning bolt, but they managed to kill the saber light. And all these trades, if Boom can keep trading and not fall behind in terms of the net worth, uh, it's really good for them. Because one, one more time, Entity, they're on the clock. Having the Lycan and the Enigma as your cores, eventually you're going to start to fall off. Absolutely. My scam now getting a bit of free time up top. Katomi de-warding and Yopanj is going to come here, soak up that little bit of extra farm that's been left to him. And this gives Tim's time in the mid lane to get his experience, a little bit of gold. He's got a lot of tanky items here. Very important against the tiny, isn't it, for these supports to build braces and fluffy hats. Yeah, I wanted to mention it. Uh, definitely love his build, getting the raindrop, a casual bracer, and a fluffy hat, so he can be blown up by tiny scomp. Understanding that you know, mana boots, it's important. You still do have Keeper of the Light in case it's needed. Uh, most of the time will be used on Storm Spirit, but still you feel, you know, you want to be that tanky guy. And both supports hitting level six pre-10 minutes 
one two compared. Yeah. Clock was being blooded four and a half. Oh, the toss back. Two stays level six. Ooh. Count oh, man. Storm Stormer pairing up again, and the tips coming to Yopash. Oh, they've killed the storm off a couple of times now. His momentum halted. And Entity finding their way back into this game through this Tiny and the Zeus. That mental warfare, definitely. You need to bring uh, something else to the table except the five players. So trying to tilt Yopas potentially. Clockwork. Uh, Freshman. Very forward positioning. Doesn't really have any backup here. There's, there's a couple of tiny illusions, but it looks like he's just... Oh, oh, like that, like the head steal! He gets it done. Cancel the TP. I, I thought Fishman was out of there. Safe and sound. Scammer teams. A little more work to do with your patch arriving to get the kill. And that's going to untilt him, right? If you had that mental warfare going one way, allowing the storm to get that kill, going to lift his spirits again. Yeah, definitely a freebie. And uh, Tamus, he was thinking about keeping the avalanche because this is one of the better abilities that you can have at yeah. this point. Uh, but decided to go with the cogs and uh, seeing those green cogs stop the TP. Beautifully done. Dawnbreaker, again, ultimate available. So if Entity tries to make a move, he still didn't see power off like, and he does have Helm of the Dominator, does have an extra wolf. Stacking the wolves. Yeah, an alpha wolf leading the pack. Comes back up top to defend tower against this 10 minute catapult wave. And Toby should be able to keep it defended for now. As Entity have smoked Stormstormer, this time with Fishman, not roaming around with the Zeus anymore. Looking for FBZ, who has been an incredibly difficult hero to catch and kill, but with a shape shift and the Avalanche, they'll close in on the Dawn, and response from Boom is to come in and try and find it. Fishman landed onto Skep, hooked straight into him. Costal caught out, and Tim just has to call him defensively to run away. Beautifully done by Fishman, he was blocking Potentially a path where Dawnbreaker is going to use the hammer and try to get through. He was already there with the battery assault ready if she decides to make a jump. And uh, two big kills. This is uh, the type of kills that Entity needs. They need to keep this momentum going. Saberlight on the bottom lane. Yeah. Gets the tower very close to Blink Dagger. All right, this is that timing around those catapult waves. Utilizing them to perfection there, Entity. Defending top and also pushing bottom. Synchronized across the map. Lycan and Tiny doing pretty decently net worth wise with that GPM. Flowing gold into their pockets. The helm. Upgrade helm well on its way. As Tiny gets jumped by the Solar Guardian and Ball Lightning. Storm Stormer does have some teammates here, but the Cog will trap him inside, and that allows Storm just to rip into it. Fishman dies, joins his buddy in the grave. Two heroes down, and Toby might be next. Oh no, they see Saberlight. They don't want to walk high ground in this enclosed area, but they do catch Toby out here. Our HP Tim was he a wolf tossing people around? That's not allowed. Saberlight still holding Black Hole while Boom get kill after kill. And uh, Boom will treat. Uh... Man, Tim's uh, is doing some godly work on this Rubik. He's stealing like, everything! We saw the Alpha Wolf uh, taken by the Helm, but I think he is the Alpha Wolf. The, the real Giga Chat in this one, because uh, the work that he puts in in every single fight, he's 3 0 oh, 6, involved in 9 out of 10 kills. <laughs> It's, it's not about, the, the, you know, dealing damage with Wolf, because your damage is pretty limited. It's also about, uh, you know, sometimes the threat of a black hole is bigger than actually using the black hole kind of a thing. Trying to scare the enemies. Yeah, just like, oh god, he's a wolf now, better run away. But the fact also he had that additional move speed to gas close, get onto someone, and then he, you know, got a toss back. He's stealing everything. That team five victory allows Jackie to push out top tier one, finally even the score in terms of objectives on the map. Radiance Middle Tower. Entity amassing their forces mid though. And here's that zoo. Eidolons with Lycan summons. Tier one tower mid taking a beating. And even with the Illuminate and Celestial Hammer, it's difficult to clear through everything the entity has. Oh, do a lot of damage on death. He's in store. He zips in towards Toby, allowing Dawn to get away and dodging the avalanche. Well played. Yelp, he's out of there for now, but the tower will still collapse. They can't keep defending him. Fishman has saved the light. He stopped. He didn't get off the black hole. Something clipped him there that didn't allow him. Telekinesis from Tim straight away, not allowing Clockwork to connect uh, with his power cogs and try to push him back, and not having enough time for Enigma to potentially use the black hole. Tim's, Tim's, Tim's. And that was the debut of the Blink Dagger on the Enigma. 
really wanted something more out of that. And they see the invis tiny here. Sentry ward, spot storm stormer coming. If they can kill Tim, he's honestly a pretty big kill for them. Avalanche, Toss, Solar Guard, and here Yopan. He'll back up by FBZ and Storm Stormer turn around. Yopan survived. Gets away from the Thunder Wrath as well. While Fishman and Cat only jumped upon again. A double comes in. Toby! Oh, Olivia, you flash yourself in now. FBZ picks up the triple. And they end the tier one tower. Man, Yopar's item build, I, we didn't point this out, but he does have a raindrop casual cloak on oh, storm. Yeah. It's something that you don't expect to see, and also a soul ring, so he's super tanky. He decides to go in, cause a lot of issues in the back lines, forcing Entity to go on him, and then Dawnbreaker comes in clutch. So did he, did he dodge Thunder God's Rapid Ball Lightning, or was that just the, the cloak and the wand kicking in? Because he, he, he was very low HP, and I saw the Zeus ulti arrive. I'll see the Solar Guard in here, keeping him alive. Healing that storm back up, because he's zipping all over the place, and Katoomi uses ulti, no, it's just a cloak! I think it's a cloak, yeah, not allowing him to die there. His uh, itemization, actually, what's making the difference uh, in this fight, and then you do have a chase ability, and uh, like it coming in a bit too late. Yeah. Like, this, this game, it, it's falling apart for Entity. Yeah, 4k lead for Boom, 14 to 7. What are we, 16 minutes in right now, we're getting some really big key items up for them. We had that Echo Saber for FPZ in the previous fight, but now well on his way to BKB. Four staff, not too far away there for the Rubik. As Tim's pretty nicely farmed on this position for 4,200 net worth. And holding Zeus Ulti for now, level 11, oh, 16 minutes into the game, almost level 12. Ready to strike. Oh, but Fishman with Saberlight. They'll spot out Tims, and this, this really is a big kill on the support they can get. Storm, he's in the black hole! Saberlight just solos him with it. Your badge has been towing the line between a genius and insanity with some of these ball lightnings in. And we did curse him. We praised Tims a couple of times. Suddenly he he dies. He just straight up dies immediately after we said it. Well, who should we talk about next? What's, what's Jackie doing? How's, uh, Garrett, how's the chaos going? Play by play caster. <laughs> what's he up to? We don't want anything to happen to you, Gary, don't we? Uh, please don't curse me. Also, Enigma going for a bit of a different item build. We do see Spirit Vessel from time to time. In a game like this, you are playing against Rubik, so it's going to take a lot of time until you get the BKB, potentially a Lincoln Sphere. So he, he wants to keep the momentum, going for a bit more damage, reducing the healing from Dawnbreaker and CK. But we didn't talk too much about Jack. He's been silently farming, involved in 3 out of 14 kills. Understand what the job is. Does have that armlet, Echo Saber. Will disassemble it, go into BKB. And that's going to be a big time because there are like no abilities that he is afraid of when he has BKB other than the black hole. Yeah, once he gets to the point at which he can make the jump, along with the storm who goes in right now. Katomi low and Solar Guard he comes. Yopai's balls away. This time, go to the Thunder God Wrath and Storm Stormer unable to kill Tim just yet until he chucks the bone at it. FPC on the run, but Entity they're punching back and pretty hard at that. Toby charging in. Oh, they want more. They see scam. They stun him up. It's substantial onto him. All the toss back on the CK. Jackie. Oh, the toggle. Get away from this. I don't know if they survive though. They're going to keep on chasing him. Storm Stormer can come in, but they don't even need him. Oh, the Spirit Vessel coming in clutch and also Entity hitting a, a big timing, getting that uh, Helm of the Overlord. CK still not ready to battle the big uh, dragon. So they, they're using what their lineup is really good. At no way. Storm Stormer. No way. No way. Storm Stormer. You talked about it in that mid lane. Storm Stormer against Storm. We know who's coming out on top though. Google just lost 5k network lead that they gone! And it's uh, completely negated. Saberlight will have another black hole in a minute, so with the next Lycan ulti, they should try to force a fight near the Roche pit and potentially get Roche out of this, because this lineup does rely on Roche. Hey, no. Through this tournament, if there's one thing that LGD has taught us and the teams, it's lane stage means nothing. Net worth lead means nothing. If you can have a couple of perfect, well-executed team fights, you can come back into the game from any state. Look, can we see that win probability again? I'm not sure if I saw it correctly. Is it shifted? Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Oh my God. Down right. 7. 87!
Oh, so, so I, I don't know where these numbers are coming I from. I like Spectre and I struck like Zoo. Love and the chair, love the life. The, the Zeus as well. The Zeus, yes. <laughs> oh, FPZ doesn't get high grip with his hammer. And Fishman's in with the hook shot. Is on room. One is about to be finished on Dawnbreaker. They still need some time on Storm Spirit and also Sea Cape to be able to finish it. Scam does have his four staff now. Trying to buy these defensive items to save the CK, the storm from these avalanches, cogs, and the wolves chasing them. BKB coming up next for Yopage. Quite distant from it still. A desperation. And Jackie. Yeah, we have this window now. Well, there's going to be, what, three, four minutes with no BKBs? Uh, maybe CK gets his a little earlier with disassembling the Echo Saber. But Entity with Black Hole ready, Thunder God's Wrath ready. And it feels like it might just be go time again, especially around Roshan, 20 minutes in. If Boom can delay the game for another two, three minutes until there's three BKBs available on the team, that'd be great for them. Yeah. That's when things start to look a little bit better. You know, the clouds disappear, the sun comes out. But right now, it's a rainy day for Boom. Hookshot bottom, Dawnbreaker getting caught again. Does have a BKB this time. FPZ down to 500 HP. Healed up a little bit and does pop the BKB. Catch out Fishman. Boom comes down with numbers. Panic, panic, panic. Yeah, Fishman, he's baited them in. That's worth it, isn't it? Clockwork death for five TPs. Now you've got the whole map at your disposal as Entity. Plus a BKB. They use the scan. Enigma immediately TPs out because scan connected. He knows something is up. They're going to try to chase people down. And Storm deciding to go for Kaya Sanj instead. Having a bit more static resistance. Okay. And inside the Roche pit, they go. They know the BKB is down. Everybody showed at the bottom lane. Toby using all this info going inside the Roche pit. Helm of the Overlord done. As we said, does have that dino and going into AC next. And Saber Light, he's always there. The blink black hole, that threat of the team fight ulti. And these enclosed areas on the staircases around the Roche pit. Not something Boom would want to entertain or get involved in. The ball lightning across. His fishing hook, getting that initiation, getting the... They did have vision, just one observer ward near enemy tier 1 tower did provide all the vision that they need. This was a very risky move from Yopaj. Yeah, high risk, high reward, but not paying off whatsoever. Yeah, it's more like high risk, no reward in the end, Gary. Yeah, results oriented, that's the way to look at things. You are correct. The storm with a, a few deaths, you know, a couple of his own mistakes, but a lot of this is entity seeing the opportunities and knowing that they can kill him. You now Storm Storm have got that solo kill on him a few minutes back in that top jungle. And they've really shut down the Yopo Storm now. 432 GPM, his, his net worth is now below the Enigma. Oh, and look at that. Uh, Kataomi did find the big boy Philly on Zeus, so he will be able to scale from position. For every single time I see Zeus played as four, there is Philosopher's Stone. It, it's just a must. Did Tyler get the Tumblr's toy this game? He, he didn't, right? That's only for position four. I think he did, yeah. But the clock was dead. Clock if there's dead, tiny, yeah. it will drop. That's, that's true. No need to pop it in this game, so spider legs, less chance of spawning. As Boom gather up top, but they are scouted by that dire Observer Ward. Entity have seen them all coming, they know where they are. They smoke, might catch them off guard. But Entity are all holding hands down south. A little bit of push on the tier two, try and unlock the outposts. And holding Aegis for three minutes. Lycan feeling incredibly strong right now. This rocket that was just used by Fishman did reveal that camps near their outpost have been farmed, so Ooh. that means uh, that they know exactly where Boom is. Good spot. Yeah, they'll know exactly where they were, where they ended up. And CK shows mid, and they'll know there's a few heroes in behind him. Well, Entity, everybody but the Lycan smoked. CK shows on mid lane. Tiny, he can make the jump in. The avalanche top. Down you go. Jackie pulls the BKB. The solar guard. He's healing him after Storm Storm. And he's the back guard. We're saying it.
understanding, seeing CK on a mid lane and instantly jumping in with Stormstormer. He's already down to half HP, have to use BKB, and uh, doesn't feel like too comfortable fighting at all AoE that they have with the Enigma and the, the threat of a black hole. Like, five more than a threat. Yeah, we, we finally see that uh, black hole in the end there. CK, less than half HP, also forcing Dawnbreaker ulti to come in, and the uh, Entity, very good at disengaging. Saberlight uh, catches an opportunity, Tim's a bit. Managed to kill it, but uh, have managed to get the black hole. But uh, those lightning units on top of it means that he's gonna die. Yeah, he dies so very quickly as well. And we've talked about these counters to the Dawnbreaker, right? For the Solar Guardian, you've got your Winter Wyvern and any real AoE that catches a target. But here in this game, the real big counter is that Sableye with a black hole. They're all dogpiling onto this one hero they're trying to save. In this case, it was a CK. That gives him such a sick opportunity just to land that massive. Yeah, also one thing, I would prefer if they gave this Aegis to Tiny instead, because you don't want to have this on Lycan. If he's in shapeshift, he dies. Like, I know that he's kind of a carry in this game, but in my book, Tiny is the real carry. Yeah, he's just, he's just running around killing Storm time and time again. And Yopange still on the sidelines. And as we expected, Stormstormer did pick up that earlier shard on Tiny. Very nice. Able to scale, and uh, here they come again. I mean, yeah, BK exactly. needs to be careful. It's just pushed back by the cogs. And Fishman, defensive hook shot. Scam and Jackie still looking for that opening, though. Remove out some of these obs and sentries on their way through. Oh, double damage for Tiny. Oh, boy. Oh, he's a hefty hitter now. I mean, this, this CK, we still need so many items for him to really feel like he's going to have that big impact that we've seen from the Tiny. We need the blink, we need the, the heart, something like that to allow him to either jump and catch or tank up and withstand the damage. Something Stormstormer corrected. could be in trouble. He does have enough to buy a BKB if he disassembles Echo Saber, but not using Courier for now. Oh, do they pop the smoke? They're getting nearby. Toby, he's there in line. They've got the catch on him, but Stormstorm has blown up two already. The Tiny just demolishes them with his double damage room. Jackie, that's not a fight you can win. Team he he's in the pit. He's done four. Double damage on Tiny, sitting next to Lycan with his... All his aura, he hit for like seven, eight hundred damage. Where are you going, NPC? They yeah, know, go, go 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 he knows where you're heading. He's got a shot on the Starbreaker, and Yopage will pull in. Delay that advance from Entity, but they focus buildings now. I even lied, this is more than 800 damage on Tiny. What is it? Like, uh, no, it's almost look, 900. Jeez. With AC, they do have more than enough to take down these bears. Apparently, you don't need a carry. This is what Entity is saying throughout this tournament. Yeah, just play with it. Two off laners in a mid. Oh, it's beautiful to watch, isn't it? It really is, and Kataomi did manage to find farm with the Philosopher's Stone, and also only having two deaths on Zeus, so that does have that NIMBY available. So he does, and against the Storm Spirit, who has already had a rough time, that's gonna compound things, make it even worse. And here we see Storm Stormy, like, he's blown up two supports already. Two supports. And then Jackie, yeah, you BKB, uh, you toggle your armor on, but now back to life. We've got the Dawnbreaker dead again. Fishman tried to land the hook in towards the Rubik, just off the mark, though. As Tim's was able to slip away. Storm Stormer, he's hunting, he wants Storm. Oh, Yopaj. Does not have a blink available. Had to manage a ball TP. Scam keeping the vision going. At 1 minute 20 until next Roshan. That's something that Boom are kind of dreaming about, thinking, hey, if we can get a team fight around there or even sneak a steal of the Aegis, something like that, we can pick things back up in this game. Two tier two still stand for them as well, so no easy access here for Entity to take another lane of barracks. Entity wants to take a fight uh, before going for the buildings, because once they kill people, these buildings disappear. Yeah, we saw Tiny them. with uh, Lycan auras, and also, like next Rose that you mentioned, could potentially spawn in 40 seconds. He's coming up quickly. Toby, what's he got next? He's going back into drums. Ceremonial robe going to be handed over. Do, do, do we give that to the Enigma? What's, what's the Enigma holding neutral item-wise? Spider legs. Oh, that's pretty good. 
it's very good to get out of the trouble and also position yourself for a black hole because you don't necessarily need to keep at, like you can't keep more distance and close it by going over the cliffs and they've given it over to the zeus that rope instead magic resistance reduced and it's a pretty decent radius honestly it's not that bad anymore you can use it on some of these more ranged nukers rather than just the, the aoe initiators oh but a quickening charm now grabbed up Entity getting all of those beautiful tier 3 items while, you know, boom, they're struggling. They don't really have access to the jungle. They found Thames already. He's gonna die to Eidolons and also Nimby, Wolf. There's so much stuff on the ground. As Starstormer finds he's, another one. He's going on Jackie. Oh, that hook shot barely scraped past him. Jackie, does he have BKB? He's gonna use it now to get away from Sable. I the black hole is invisible. It's on the crystals. They couldn't even see it. Stolen by Thames, though. This is, this is their gonna opportunity. Be a big, this is potentially a combo. Like they need to land a big black hole, and uh, I think uh, Storm is saving up. Yeah, very smart from Yopaj, not showing what he's going for. He wants to surprise them with the budget black hole, going for that Aghanim scepter. Oh, the dump to the double black hole then. Tim, it's gonna be a setup. It's gonna be a setup for Tim's. Oh, I love the little spiraling animation on that stolen spell, and uh, I believe he sold his magic wand. And now does have that Aghanim Scepter, so it's time to strike. It is go time. 1 minute 30 for Roshan though. No real key objective for them to play around, but they do have vision in that top jungle. Another DD for Stormstormer. Are you kidding me? Nope, and he's holding on to Grobo, one of the reasons why he is managing to blow up people, lowering their magic resistance and then unleashing the full combo. Oh, Fishman nearly popped that smoke. Don't see Toby and just go with the black hole straight away. Tim is cancelled out though now. Fishman's in the same life joint. Toby with his BKB battling in and your part blown up. Storm Stormer finds the kill on Storm yet again. And boom, are a crumbling. Entity seems to have their number. This was supposed to be a big turnaround play with Aghanim set to reveal on Storm and a stolen black hole. Roshan will be alive in 45 seconds, so Entity do have enough time to go to the mid lane and kill this tier 2 tower, potentially see if they have buyback. See that Storm Spirit did invest the gold into Aghanim Scepter, that means that most definitely he does not have a buyback, but he's not that far in this game. Yeah, they absolutely no. Tier 2's fall so quickly. Paper so, oh, just, just disgusting amount of physical damage. Tower damage, how's the damage on Tiny with DD? Oh, buildings fall flat in the presence of Stormstormer's Tiny. This base now in disarray as Boom respawning in what, 10 seconds on the Storm, 20 on the Rubik. Oh, Entity could very likely here just take the buildings and go back to Roshan as well. Nothing stopping Stormstormer. Get the melee. He does have the BKB. The That's one. Mega Creeps you're playing right against right now. And you don't have heroes to deal with Mega Creeps. So that's going to be a huge issue. Inside the Roach Pit, they go double Basher. It's Fishman with the Basher. Fishman, what, what is that? Where's his courier? I don't, I don't believe it. I believe it now. <laughs> it is Giga Chat Fishman. Look at him go. Pressing to be able to lock down Star Spirit and potentially cancel the black hole she later on. The devil, isn't it? I, you know, I, bet, I bet there's going to be tweets coming out after this game. 100% win rate on Basher on Clockwork. Never been done before, I reckon. Here we go. Storm Stormer. He wants to be KB out of Jack. FPC getting clapped down by the tiny though. And in the back, we've got Sableye. Black hole in your bad storm. That's game. It's over. Entity take game one. A lot of beautiful performance from Entity in this game number one. Boom. They had 4-5k gold lead.